in a world, in a world full of all these newly woke people who believe listening to people's standards and what society set for them is understanding self, you need to read between the lines. They all want to get rid of possessions, not be materialistic, none of this shit, superficial, everything like that. And they don't realize any of this. The man, do you hear me? The man who validates himself with the steps it takes to attain the result over the result itself is very obvious. This man is very easy to spot. This man operates from detachment. The def detachment doesn't mean not owning nothing. Detachment means not letting anything own you. It, God, why is everybody missing this? It's because they really want the shit. And they think running from it and avoiding it is how you don't let it own you. You have to be around it to be impervious to it. I was in the penitentiary around murderers, drug dealers, rock motherfucking straight robbers, fucking kidnapped motherfucker, every type of person that you could fucking think of in the penitentiary that's negative, negative as fuck. And I didn't let that turn me into a negative fuck. I came out more positive. I didn't let my environment affect me. Just because you have shit, that doesn't mean it owns you. And people who believe that, those are people exposing themselves. They're very transparent that if they had stuff, it would own them. It owns them that you have it. The stupid motherfuckers hating on what they gave up on. This is the reality. They always do that. Low level, low sense of self. Low ass people can't even see certain shit because they don't envision it ever being part of their life. The point is, detachment doesn't mean not owning anything. It means not letting anything fucking own you. Are you in front of your possessions? Are you the fucking focal point of all your shit? Or is your shit? Does your shit stand in front of you? Or do you stand in front of your shit? Is your shit providing the value for people around you? Or are you and the energy you put out, the person you are, the character you exude, is this what provides the value? to everybody around you. What do you validate yourself with? Your actions, your thoughts, your energy, or your shit. You can tell very easily who this person is. The person who doesn't validate themselves with this stuff, they get up for the work first. They don't go party, they don't stay out all night, they're not doing any of this. They get up first thing to work on themselves. They know that they are their greatest asset as you are. You are your fucking greatest asset. There's one of you, motherfucker. If anything is rare on this planet, it's you, your story, what you lived. So your authenticity is your superpower. But most people secretly are very ungrateful for their life and hate on it. That's why we have to build you first. Once we build you into a confident individual, you can see the value in your life. That's why personal development will always dictate success. Your level of success will never exceed your level of personal development. You won't be able to see it. I have plenty of eight and nine figure clients. Do you get me? You hear this. Eight and nine figure clients that don't value their life. You guys are too afraid to have people disagree with you that you don't stand behind anything so you can't teach them. Their biggest downfall is the fact that they can't stick to nothing. Why can't they stick to nothing? Because they don't stand their ground on shit they know feels right and works. They're, they're pliable, they're followers. They do what everyone else around them is doing and they should do what they feel is right and stick to it. Everybody wants that championship, but they ain't practicing enough. If you wanna be good on camera, if you wanna be physically fit, if you wanna be undeniable, you have to have the appearance, the ability, and the fucking, the, the fucking actions of someone who can you have a blueprint slapped down in front of them, pull it off. So in all reality, you can crush it in anything you do if you just don't opt out of the tasks that need to be done and hold yourself to a high level of understanding.